Full Cement Cluster. We have two versions available. This is the biggest one, full color screen. We have the Scanny Entertainment System. We have the 7 inch and the 4 inch. This, this particular model is equipped with the 4 inch screen, all the color. Um, aircon, of course. This is the differential lock, internal lighting. This is the aircon area, the aircon adjustments. Separate trailer brake handle, as well as a normal parking brake. Here are the hazard lights, and these are for trimming the lights of the cluster. So, the master switch we have here, and where we have the tag axle lift. The retarder, as I've shown you before, uh -huh. can be adjusted on this side. This is the manual function, and of course when you press the paddle slightly, it comes in automatically. First it takes the retarder, and if needed, it complements it with the service brake. In terms of visibility, what we've done in the next generation Scania is the driver has moved forward slightly, but has come forward, and also to the side, and this gives a much better visibility. So you see the visibility of this, this truck is absolutely excellent. We um, have reduced the obstruction from the A-pillar. So it has been shaped in such a way that it still gives you the strength that you need, but it obstructs as little as possible. You see also that the A-pillar is fairly straight. And this is a Scania philosophy. I mean, you have many, many other trucks, you try to get the airflow over the truck, where Scania opts for getting it around the truck. And this gives you the nice straight A-pillar. Yeah, it also helps. Yeah, it helps, definitely helps on, on visibility. visibility. Because the only one small area where it, the visibility is blocked, basically. Correct. If you get an inclined A-pillar, usually it's obstructing with all that. Yeah, it depends on... This is like a more standardized way of saying there's only one point. Because if people with different heights, say if you're a taller person where you have a nice incline and all, you might be more affected than a guy who's Correct. a bit... You know. This is basically similar to all. Yes. In the cluster, what you can see there, apart from all the other features, you can see here your fuel consumption, average fuel consumption, your radio, you see um, maintenance for the vehicle, you can see you get information there. You get as well your differential lock and important as well is the, see if we can find it, the driving score. If you look at driving score, at the moment it's, uh, it's not activated, of course because we're not driving, but you see between one and five stars, it gives the driver the score. This can be connected to the Scania telemetry. The that's correct. Uh, yeah. All all Scanias yeah. are equipped with FMS, fleet management system. It's also this particular vehicle, and it is uh, valid for ten years. And you get a monthly report giving you the performance of the vehicle as well as the driver. I mean, you have you get the option to plug in here the driver identification, so the owner. Can also track the driver performance in particular. Besides the vehicle performance, you can also see the driver performance. And the driver gets also in instant feedback from the cluster. So if he does a good job, he basically gets gets a thumbs up from the from the vehicle itself. <laughs> when it was launched, I think Scania put in so much effort into this cabin that it is more like a passenger car cabin than than a truck. In terms of quality, materials use. I think it's a good deal higher than 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 most trucks. It feels like a Volkswagen. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the switch gear is also very familiar in terms of layout and all, because Scania is essentially part of the VW group. Yeah, so yeah, it does have that premium feel to it. And uh, even engineers from Porsche have been involved. They have been involved during the development of this vehicle. Mm. I like the flat bottom steering wheel. Yeah. I think the only truck with a flat bottom wheel. Yeah. It's like that's whoa. Well, it's, <laughs> it might look, it's not only looking sporty, but it's also good for um, getting access inside, outside. Yeah. So of course, you can adjust the steering wheel like this. But it gives you extra access if you have the steering wheel in this position. It gives you a little bit more room okay. to get in and out of your truck. Okay. And of course, there are plenty of storage facilities. Mm -hmm. Drop boxes here, you have the upper part storage boxes as well as the one in the center all the sleeper caps they come with a sunroof this is good if you sleep in the cab you can open it you get some fresh air yeah the beds as i've told you before we have a lower bed it's an optional upper bed or you can have a cross member in the rear you can see the rear shell with a lot of storage space the rear window which you can close if you want to have the privacy you have the privacy 
but if you want to look backwards and you want to look at uh, what's happening behind the, uh, the office, it, the big storage areas here, this is for the bat to fold up. If you want to have access to the one there in the bottom, you can lift the bat up and access to one right here. But this is good to keep your own, your own stuff secure, so it's not visible from outside. So if USB ports here, um, this we have as option navigation yeah. or Bluetooth, but you have a USB charger here because everybody nowadays has a has a mobile phone, a handphone. Yeah, it still has a 24 volt socket here also. Yes, it has 24 volt there. Yeah, you have the audio input. If you want to plug in your own phone, you can do mm -hmm. a USB charger you have there. The quality is seriously up, up a whole. It's a different ball game. Yeah, it's a whole different ball game. Everything is in this. Steering, steering wheel is also nicely leather wrapped. So seat seems comfortable. It's slightly body hugging. It is. It is. Yeah. If you see as well the, the emphasis we've paid to the switches. I mean, it's, it's the quality feel that you get, and not only the feel, but the, the real quality is there. Yeah. It's tactile and nice to touch. Everything is nice to touch in this truck. It really feels like really next generation. Uh, I must say that the the only issue was it came here a bit late. Twenty sixteen. <laughs> This truck was first launched in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was the end of 2016, and um, the rollout has been done in Europe first. Yeah. And then gradually it was spread all over the yeah. rest of the, of the world. Um, the reason why we were a little bit later is also because we do the local assembly here. Yeah. So we need to train our local staff on the new vehicle and prepare the factory, just prepare the assembly plant. That's one of the reasons why it was slightly better. Because all these vehicles are assembled in Botlane. They come in in a container and we assemble them all here with local uh, locals. Makes it a lot more affordable for local otherwise, operators. Otherwise they attract, if I'm not mistaken, a 20 or 30 percent in for duty. You've driven these trucks and all. You've driven the previous generation, yeah. G series and all. So what do you think as a driver? As a driver, well, it's um, comfort wise it has improved, the visibility has improved. The comfort not only in terms of uh, vertical comfort but also in terms of noise. The noise level has reduced. Um, the comfort from the drive line is definitely an improvement the point. You see the quicker changing from the gearbox and also the pickup from the engine. The space inside the cab. Yeah, uh, so even for me, and I'm not the shortest one, it's, uh, it's a very nice place to be. It's a good, it's a good space, gives you good headroom and good place to maneuver. And um, well, change of drive. Of course, you never hope to experience that, but the yeah. stronger cap shell also gives you uh, a higher grade of screen. And then the, uh, the premium feel. Uh, we've even upgraded the already nice previous Kaya models with the uh, even more premium feeling on the on the dashboard and the, and the equipment that is placed. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> happy, happy and warm. Yes. Everybody. Yes. Yeah. No, it's, it's a nice place to be. I mean, I would be happy to to be able to spend time in. Yeah. In the truck. I think it's an extremely nice place to be. And the thing is as well, if you have a nice place to be with a driver, you will be able to do a better job. Yeah, you can focus on the things that are important for him, safety, look forward, rather than getting annoyed or getting distracted by things that are not important for the driver. And uh, I think that we have really topped up with this new vehicle from Scania. That the driver can focus on what is important, driving the vehicle, rather than being distracted by things that are less important. Throw your line, no problem. Totally, the system who are we? Automated clutch and so here we have one. One, two, three, four mirrors. Mm -hmm. Five and six. To try to minimize all the blind spots. This new Scania also the seats are more to the sides now. Yes. They're also more forward, so better view. Yes. And the, the dashboard is slightly lower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To, to improve the visibility. Uh, the uh, downside to having such a large cabin is that my coffee is a little bit too far away. Oh. Do <laughs> you complain? Kopi jauh. Kopi jauh eh. Kopi jauh. 
Driver ada dua. Ah, the driver has got two cup holders lah. Hmm. Cik. <laughs> Because the driver is special. Now while we are joking and all, see the driver has to maneuver in in such tight situations. So this is actually a good test for. <coughs> This is this is a six by two. Yeah, it's like mm. So the the last axle is lifted up because there's no load at this moment, yeah. mm. right? Uh, but you can see it's it still takes up space. And yeah, trying to man, uh, back out from the parking, uh, you know, with the buses parked here. So you can see. How much work a truck driver has to do uh, just to be moving a truck, uh, and this truck is not hauling anything yet. Right, so he's busy looking at all the mirrors. I think it's slightly quieter than the old. It's actually not slightly. It's actually quite. Banyak senyap, banyak juga lah dia punya senyap daripada yang G series yang lama, right? Oh, banyak. The, 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 the sound levels inside this cabin is actually so much lower than the previous G series model. I've driven the old G series. Uh, this is so much more quieter. Memang senyap. And you've got the nice comfortable seats. Oh yeah, even I'm, I, I are, boleh tidur lah. Pintu dia put low daripada lama. Yeah, yang uh -uh. In fact, yeah Tadi pun when we were looking Dashboard dia semua macam kereta They may feel of plastics They are all very Car like lah Tak ada langsung macam Macam lori Memang lain lah Not the Flat bottom steering wheel While they look so sporty It helps the driver Driver's leg room This is the GTI right? GTI. <laughs> uh, you you will notice uh, the absence of a gear lever. It looks like, but it's actually on the right hand side. Mm -mm. Uh, all it does is have P N D D R N D. Oh R N D. Yes, yes. I forgot you eat the R. R for racing. No, it's not for racing. <laughs> it's for reverse. It was, yeah. Yes, and there's also an R for retarder. But, so, it, but it's not. It's not listed as an R. Yeah. It's yeah. Just that's, that's also on the gear, gear lever. Uh, do a click down. Yeah. Do a click down the retarder. Yes. So I'm not sure if there's another retarder or not. Uh, tadi according to Tom it was uh, the retarder, retarder. Oh, exhaust yeah. brake is somewhere dia punya simbol simbol retarder uh -huh. uh, I think dia engine uh, dia gearbox retarder uh, tapi truck ni dah tak ada exhaust brake tak ada dah tak, tak ada dengan button oh, tak ada button dengan, dengan, ni. Uh, ada, yes. ada yang cakap brake ada cakap retarder tapi simbol ni simbol retarder yeah i think dia pakai that style of retarder yeah. now more on the transmission than the exhaust brake uh, yes this is and the, the end of the transmission and uh, what what this does is it actually helps prolong your brake pad yeah yeah because it's so transmission you based you right you don't wear the brake pads out too much uh, it's done it huh? yeah we got it transmission uh, and it's more on the gearbox braking so you don't need to use the brake pad or something like that braking yeah it will be done it will be done you will try it or not? uh try it or One, one round boleh. One round boleh. Ini sempat lagi. One round. Bila you nak pakai Auto ni kena Rapport dengan Bijak-bijak 
Alright Tak ada dulu Oh, retarder comes first before actual break eh? Oh, the retarder is strong, so yeah, but we are on an empty. Yeah, there's no, there's no, there's load, no load at the, at the back, back, so they feel much like double lah. Exactly. What do you do? You have anything to say about about all these things? You can see the uh, trucks are very different nowadays. Very modern, very very technologically advanced. And if you've seen the cabin, they're much like cars. Except maybe for this very advanced cockpit right here behind me. Over my shoulder, yeah, that's just a shell of a, a truck, but yeah, so prime moving, moving prime. Okay. I think uh, this is uh, this is great, but what what we also like to point out also is the not not just the features of the truck, but how we as motorists and motorcyclists and bicyclists and pedestrians should behave around a moving truck. While trucks are built to stop really fast and to react, there's only so much it can do to fight the laws of physics. And at any time, the truck wins. Whether you have five star end cap rating or you know 15 stars, this is gonna beat you. If the driver of the truck can't see you, <clears throat> yeah. While he's turning. And you are in the way, mm. you're going to be thin crust. Yes. So that's about it basically. Uh, get started is a great role of Auto World of Cloud Mind. If you see him on YouTube, do subscribe to his channel or Auto World or do subscribe to all of us, our channels and all. Every everyone. Everyone. Uh, everyone. Because all of us are creators, yeah. And we we all tell different stories. I copy other people's stories you could tell but you know it's it's different in some ways. Okay. Okay. See ya.